Hi guys, I'm James McIntosh and today I'm joined with the Under-19s captain, Callum Mann. Callum, you won a cup competition last Wednesday, but before we get on to the final one about the cup competition, can you just tell me how you got to the final or the root of it? Yeah, mate, so um, thank you for having me anyway. Uh, so we played against Itchin in the uh, semi-finals. That game was a really tough one because um, going into the into that semi-final, we were, we were so-called the underdogs. Um and like the game was toe to toe, that they're a very good team. Imagine Nick, uh, we managed to go one 0 down, unfortunately, and then we went, to, we scored a goal by Seb Sharp, which is a very good goal, well worked team goal. Managed to take the penalties, and then uh, obviously won the penalties in the semi-finals. Well, I was going to say you did come from one 0 down, and it showed quite good fight from the boys, and particularly in that penalty shootout as well. For me, at least, penalties. It's a bit of a, a lot of people say it's a lottery ticket, but for me personally, it's just who's better prepared mentally on the day. And I'm not sure if this is something you worked on, but from this, like someone like me who doesn't really watch the under-19s too much, it looks as though all the boys are quite mentally prepared for games like this. And is this something you've learned throughout the academy? Yeah, mate, definitely. So I, be I believed anyway when we went to penalties, I reckon we would have got we nicked in penalties anyway. Um, but... With the, with the players taking the penalties, like myself, I took one. Kian Tails took one. Um, Henry Sell took one. Us three are, are, are good penalty takers, and I believed in us. Um, in training, we didn't really work on it that much. Um, it's, it's just mental preparation, like you said before. Um, but yeah, no, I'll, I'll back to us from the, from the day dot to win on penalties. <laughs> And then when you did get to the final, I remember doing an Instagram post about it, like you lot on the bus and like getting to the final. Yeah. And you all looked really surreal about it, really happy to get to the final. Yeah. And is this all something the boys really wanted within the group? They wanted this bit of silverware. Yeah, definitely. Well, I've been in the college programme for two years and I've won silver in every year. So we said before the season, just to get some silverware to the, back to the college. And obviously we've done that. And it was, it was, that was my last game for the college. Um, so obviously it, it was a bit not sad but like I, w I wanted to end on a good note and obviously we ended on a good note with that one um, but yeah it's been it's been very good well, I was going to say, you mentioned about the college there, and I'm sure a lot of Gosport fans, maybe some of the younger ones watching this video, they might want to know, is, how is the college course? Like, how has it helped you grow as a footballer? Yeah, so the college course, we've been trained every day for the past two years and we've had a day off on a Thursday for us at college, but training every day with obviously Pat is unbelievable. Like I was saying to, I don't know who it was, but my dad and I was like, I've not had a bad session under him. It's like the session been so good. Obviously, Joe was there the first two, uh, the first year, sorry, and then uh, Connor Flampton coming the second year, and obviously been in this year, and just the training's been unbelievable. Well, exactly like you said there, you work very closely with the first team managers, so especially Pat there, and you mentioned Joe as well. And how good is it getting this first-hand experience? You're learning from the best people who have first-hand knowledge of this topic. Yeah, mate, it's so good, honestly. Like Pat and Joe have helped me a lot since I come into the, the Centre of Excellence programme when it was still here, obviously it's still here now. Um, but training, training with like them, just coaching me, it's been unbelievable, mate, honestly. Well, we'll speak about those two a bit later, but I think Gosport, this is the third college final they've managed to get to. And I'm not sure if this added any more pressure or not, but does this show just how good the academy is? Or does it just show how good the like training is at Gosport? And like, did this put any pressure on you whatsoever? Yeah, well, you know, obviously, like you said, we've done it, we've done it three years in a row now. Um, I don't think we had, we had no like, knowledge of it, sorry, um, going into this, going into this final. Uh, on Wednesday um, but obviously like I said before I'm back to us from day dot the, the way we train like before games that like the patterns that we do is, it's been unbelievable mate and I don't think there was any pressure on us because obviously all of us are really good players and you know back to us from we started well, you mentioned there as well, just how good are the players you are. And you have got some outstanding players in your group, I must admit. But before even we got to the final, we're starting to play some cup competitions now within the first team. And I'm not sure if you watch any of the Gosport social media videos, but I'm sure you know Mark Summerhill quite well, the head of football operations here at Gosport. And speaking to him in the pre-match interview for the monthly roundup, he says, in these cup competitions, we like to give these youngsters a shot. So people like yourself, we do like to give them a shot in these cup competitions to help rotate the team and 
you know how this happens. Does this give you an extra motive, like maybe to perform extra well in these games, just to maybe be rewarded by getting in the first team and getting this? Yeah, obviously. But obviously, you know, I want to play the gospel as much as I can. Obviously, I'm grateful for the opportunity when I do come and play in. And I think that's obviously credit to obviously us as personal, like the few people that have been involved in it. Um, it's credit to us obviously working hard, but it's also grateful to Pat and John giving us the opportunity to come and play and put on the gospel shirt. And then looking once back at again at the cop competition, you would go and play Portsmouth College in the final and they're a good side. So what was the training like beforehand? Did you have to do anything different? No, nah, it was the same, like Pat was saying, just take it as, as, an, as, as another normal game. Um, and obviously we had the right mentality to go into it. The warm up was unbelievable. Uh, like the days before the Monday and Tuesday going up to the final, it was, it was, it was like a normal game for us. Um, and then obviously when it gets to the final, obviously Portsmouth, like you said, a really good college. Uh, so it was a tough game, but obviously we managed to come on top. Well, Callum, you demonstrated exactly why you were the captain during that game. Two goals in the 3-2 victory. And can you just talk me through that final? Yeah, mate. So we started really well. Um, we were playing that pressure really well, uh, passing it, moving it. And then we managed to get a penalty. Nick won from Keir Tabs, blister and pace down the wing. And then obviously I, I knew straight away where I was going. Stepped up, obviously took the penalty. And then we, and then they, they got sending off uh, halfway through that as well. So that kind of gave us a little bit of advantage. And then um, we've done, done a nice little bit of play through to Keir. Uh, then Jackson had a shot, missed the shot, flashed it across the goal. And obviously Seb Sharp was there to tap it in. To make it 2-0, then half-time. We got in there quite comfortably, like quite up for it for the second half. And then the, obviously the third goal come from me. Um, I'm not sure how well I was free at the back post. <laughs> obviously it comes straight over, put it on my head and then that was it. Well, I must say it was a lovely header. I felt bad for the keeper. He tried to fetch it, get out on the net. I felt bad for him. But it was a lovely goal by yourself. And being a defender yourself as well, you did leak in those two goals. It showed good fight from the boys just to make sure we didn't let in any more goals after that second goal. And once again, it's just showing good fight from the boys. Yeah, definitely, mate. Obviously, they scored the first goal and it, it came it come like just like that. Because I was quite comfortable enough just to see it out of the 3-0. And then they scored straight away from kickoff. Like we kicked it back up, they come through and scores from two, and I was like, right, we need to defend with our lives here. <laughs> and luckily, we managed to defend every corner from that, every set piece. So, yeah, it was, it was quite lucky, really. Well, you must have been loving it after that final whistle gone. Yourself being the skipper, you would be the man to lift the trophy. And what was that like, lifting the trophy? Yeah, it was good, mate. It was good. Obviously, when the ref gave it to me, you know, I, I knew it was my last season. Obviously, I wanted to lift the trophy, and I obviously had done that. Well, it must have been such a rewarding moment. And looking at some of the videos on social media, the one thing I did think was a bit questionable was some of the dancing in the changing rooms <laughs> afterward, especially from Freed from Desire. So that is another question. Who's the worst dancer and who's the best dancer? <laughs> who's the worst dancer? Uh, we'll probably go for Henry Sell. Oh, OK. Yeah. The best dancer. <laughs> and the best dancer, ooh, probably myself. I'm going to put it up there, oh. probably myself, yeah. So you're giving it to yourself? Definitely, 100%. You no know what? Else. I like the confidence. Well, who knows? You might be dancing at some more vid well, and some more victories at this competition. But who knows? Like, Do you think you might be able to get any more silverware this season? Uh, hopefully, mate. Well, we've got the league to come up, but we, we lost one game. Uh, our first loss in three years, uh, a couple of months ago. Wow. We lost 5-4. It's a very competitive game. Um, so obviously we've got that we've got that lead to play in but hopefully we can still, still try and lift that trophy Well Callum it sounds as though everything's going really nice for you and the rest of the team but what are your aspirations now both for yourself and for the team Obviously I want to try and play as hard as I can try and play in football um, and the college obviously hopefully lift that uh, lift the trophy for the league uh, but for myself just play as hard as I can keep training keep working hard and hopefully the opportunities will come to me well, Callum, I hope to see you in the first team in a couple, maybe months, years or whatever, how long it takes. But Callum, I'm not sure if you've been seeing the videos, but in these interviews, we like to say the final words up the borough. So for your final words, can you say up the borough? Up the borough. And final words from me, up the borough.